ho, 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 ho. It'd be a fine feast of St. Patrick here in a night, my lad's lair. And I'd be getting shit faced off me head on St. Patrick's piss. So open up that zipper, leprechaun, and let's have it. And now that I'd be pissing off just about every Irish person who may watch this video, I'm just going to talk my normal voice now, and I'm going to take this ridiculous thing off. So, uh, greetings once more out there, horror fanatics. I know I'm behind on my videos. Shame on me. But uh, to make up for the absence, I've got something kind of... Let's put this hat away. It's blinking at me. T uh, I've got something kind of cool for you out there. This is a different kind of review. Yeah, you can rest over here, too. Um, what I've got for you today is actually Dr. Squatch Irish Cream and Whiskey Soap. Uh, doubtless you've seen Dr. Squatch advertised all over social media, which is what first caught my attention. Um, this is actually kind of fun because it coincides with an interview I did with, Der I did with Derek Hayes of uh, the Monsters Among Us podcast for House of Tortured Souls. That article should be up right about now, actually. And Derek's a great guy, but Bigfoot is his passion. So when I saw Dr. Squatch advertising something that hits to my roots... As a man proud of his Irish heritage, I just knew I had to try it out. And uh, in all honesty, I don't really use bar soap, so this is kind of a sacrifice on my part. Yes, I am that kind of sissy man who uses body wash and a lather builder. Now, um, as far as Dr. Squatch here, the legend goes, there's not much. Um, what does it say here? We all have human obligations, but as men, we still desire to be wild, free, and natural like a Sasquatch, and have jerks who sell beef jerky play tricks on us, no doubt. Turn your shower up a notch and unleash your inner man with Dr. Squatch soap that's full of the simple and natural ingredients that your body loves and deserves, like Irish whiskey and cream and Guinness beer and potato water like they advertise. So natural. But um, based on just this little square they've got here, I gotta admit, the, uh, the smell is actually quite nice. It's very fresh. Uh, let's see if I can open this up and see what she looks like. Okay, we're gonna have to tear this one open. Oh, come on. This is actually kind of nice. It, it looks like a little block of marble. They did a good job with the appearance, at least, and... Oh, yeah, the scent is very fresh. Um, I don't detect any Irish cream or potato water here. It's actually very minty smelling. Which, uh, in soap, I must say, is not an unappealing thing. You do kind of want to smell nice. Unlike Sasquatch, I assume. I don't want to know what Sasquatch smells like. Unless it's a Sasquatch pizza. Why did they ever do away with those? But uh, we do have to try this out. So, you know, I'm just going to say that based off the feeling in my hand, um, this feels kind of waxy, unlike your regular store-bought soap. So you can tell there's natural ingredients here. And this was handmade. This was not some um, generic product in a major corporate factory, but it does feel kind of greasy at the same time, so it's a little off-putting. Uh, nonetheless, the ultimate test is going to be how does it work and what's it feel like on the skin. And I really, really must apologize for any long-term mental scarring that the following images are bound to cause. Well, here we are. So we're building up a nice ladder here. And I gotta be honest, this is not laddering very easy. Even despite wetting it several times. However, the scent is not unappealing. I wouldn't say it's still minty. It's uh, getting a bit more of a... Uh, Almost a barley kind of scent. Maybe that's the potato water coming out. Let's see what this feels like on the skin. Well, it goes on nice and slick, but 
I am worried about the effect it has when it dries off once you're out of the shower. Because bar soaps, in my experience, tend to uh, dry your skin out. I'm hoping that won't be the case. And for something that is advertised as being for macho manly men, you wouldn't think they would have the aim of giving you soft, delicate, sensitive skin. Well, thankfully, it is not slipping out of my grasp, so I don't gotta bend over to pick up the soap. So, let's see what this feels like as it washes off. Hmm. Actually, pretty slick so far. But now we've got to try drying. That will be with a true challenge layer. So, let's get an idea of what this is like once our skin is nice and dry. Actually kind of smooth, and I dare say a little greasy. Let's try a little more. In fact, let's use the rough side of the towel. Uh, yeah, definitely now I'm feeling a little more dry and not exactly brittle, but there is friction here. So I have a feeling this is just going to be like your standard, you know, bar soap that it really has more of a drying effect. That's a bit of a letdown. So that was Dr. Squatch. I certainly hope you found this to be a fun and unique review as much as I did doing it. <laughs> and I'm sorry again, folks. Look, the sacrifices we make for fun. So a happy St. Patrick's Day to all. And on behalf of the Quiet Man Pub of Dover, New Jersey, who gave me this really cool glass, I just want to say, here's to all of you, slancha. <laughs>